<clears throat> okay. So since I'm blocked by 90% of Twitter, I'm just gonna do a YouTube video. That way people can watch it and spread awareness. Power of the internet, right? So this video is about Drop Cost, who actually now, as of now, deactivated his his uh, Twitter account because he knew. He knew. He knew he got exposed. People don't deactivate when they when they haven't done anything wrong. Have you ever seen me deactivate any of my accounts? No. I ride or die till I get suspended. That's how I roll. But, yeah. So, Drop Call's real name is Thomas Scuttle. Thomas Scuttle. This is his real name. This is him. And, uh, she made a post about him. This was July 4th, so it's not like it was years ago, months ago, a while ago. So basically, Sky Miller is his other account. He he adds you on this account that that's the name Sky Miller, and then he he pretty much creeps on you, and then he tries to get people to add him on Snapchat. Go ahead, and, like I'm taking my time so you can go ahead and actually read the post. I guess pausing it also works as well. As you can see on the right side, those are the DMs that he sent her on that fake account. As you can see, he DMs her basically asking about himself. So yeah, like who messages someone and be like, hey, do you know this other person by any chance? This other person knows you. That's obviously him. Hopefully you have half a brain and you realize this is him. As you can see, she says they, they went to the same high school together. His name will definitely ring a bell as he is one of the biggest creeps. And he's seen a few posts now of females asking who this person is, and it is not a girl. As you can tell from her block list, he has multiple Facebook accounts. Multiple Facebook accounts because he blocks them and then he messages them on a new account, and he blocks them and he messages them on a new account. Uh, Crystal says, you're the creep in high school, and I guarantee there will be other girls who comment to agree. And boy, was she right. As you see, Caitlin Miner says, whoever this is sent her a video winking it. It was like two months ago. Carl said, he remembered this dude, he used to blow up my messenger, my friend's messenger, all the time. Me too. Tags Mallory remembers him. As you can see what Mallory says, he was a creep, and now he's posing as a female, a transsexual female, to get people to message him on Snapchat. Look at Kay. Look how many accounts that he has that 
she had to block him on. Isn't this, isn't this the definition of a predator? When someone blocks you, they don't want to talk to you, so you make another account to go out your way to talk to them. Isn't that what a predator is, right? Six accounts that she had to block. Actually make that eight. That's eight accounts, actually. As you see, other people have got the same DMs asking. Uh, as you see, she has messages from both him, this is him right here, and then the fake account. What a coincidence. And as you can see, he has. Thomas has multiple Snapchat accounts. What are they uh, He messages them, offering them money. Whether you're about to order chicken McNuggets and fries, a McChicken and fries, a filet of fish and fries, or anything. Another female, Adriana. Like, okay, this is supposedly a girl. Who messages a random girl? Be like, hey. My brother says he wants to fuck you and deep choking you. As Addison says, what type of sister would send that? Like, it's obviously him who's so demented and sad that he has to pretend to be a female to get a response back to try to get them to his real account. So like, wanna make $50? Like she's off like the fake account, which is Jonathan, offering money, telling him to add him on snap. Uh, as you can see, Alyssa says, crazy. I was 14, he was 19, trying to get in it. That's a pretty steep age difference. She was 14, he was 19, he was trying to come, he was trying to fuck her, pretty much. Alright. And a girl under her. Actually, I want to do a counter. No. Can I do that? I want to do a counter. I want to do a counter. I want to count how many different females say something. I'm gonna keep tallies of how many females 
he interacted with. Anywho, back to this, right? Back to this. She was 14, he was 19. Same. That's two 14 year olds he tried to talk to while he was an adult, alright? All the cigarettes I take from him. He was buying minor cigarettes just to try to get in with them. Another female named Marissa says he's such a creep. Madison says I knew I got weird vibes from him. Uh, look, this female shows a screenshot that she got messaged by that fake account that's pretending to be him as well. Marissa says she has a message from the same. Got a similar message. Crystal, the chick who made the threat, says, This is blowing my mind. How many people are coming forward right now with shit? This guy seriously needs help. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Actually, like, I don't, I'm going to just say it because just to explain everything. When the person asks who was his brother, like when he was DMing on those catfish accounts, Damien is his older brother. He was pretending he was running the page, but really it wasn't him. So Dakota says, hey, have you guys ever called the police? Chris was like, yeah, we need to charge him with harassment. Adrian says nothing they can do. Randy here says about Thomas, aka Drop Cause. My daughter and her father went to the police station about him a few years ago because he had sent her nudes and stuff. Fortunately, she deleted the photos because he's a freaking creep. Told them where he worked and everything. Didn't do anything. Didn't even look into it. Gotta have proof. I hate saying that, but in this situation, you gotta have proof. Dakota says, this isn't immaturity, this is like creeper stalker shit, and I agree. Marissa says, don't add a snap. Now look, the guy has multiple snaps, so like, I don't know why you guys are thinking like this one screenshot of a snap conversation that I'm not even involved in, like, that's proof of anything? Like, he obviously made it. But Marissa says, don't add the snap. They start asking you to take pictures, take bizarre shit, then says you're going to contact your family. I don't have screenshots because they end up blocking them on snap, some crazy shit. She says she was only 14 and he, he still didn't care. So, like, Jonathan messaged her. On Snap, and was like, "Hey, you had a question? Played dumb, added the Snap, and was instantly sent a dick pic." They started talking vulgar as fuck. If I wouldn't comply with sending photos, he tried telling me to add another person on Snap. He really has some fun with and tell me some rich old man. Josh, who knows Jonathan personally, says, "I know people who know him, but I never met him. But I heard of him doing paddle shit now." Courtney, like another female, says, just came here to say, I've had drop calls. This man blocked since high school. He used to blow up my messages. And it was creepy as fuck besides high school. Because I had no idea who he is. I realized he had more accounts, but I haven't heard that name so long. I definitely know for being creepy. And she shows how she hasn't blocked. Since... 2013 he's been doing this, but it's actually a lot longer once you get into the thread. Amber, another chick says, this is the same guy who's been trying to hit me up for years. I added that uh, Sky Miller account a while back. This is what she sent me. He did the same with me. Sky said she was his sister and that she was with him at the time asking for my snap and wanted to pay me. Another one says, she did this to me about once a year ago before I blocked her, and I'm like, who the fuck are you? So basically, I don't know if you guys see the pattern here, where these females block him 
block Thomas and ignore Thomas. And then here comes the Sky account talking to them, trying to offer them money and saying, hey, add this snap. It's a pattern. This is some really good evidence from Rainy Wright, someone who went to school with him since middle school. She says, he has been a creep since middle school and he knows what he's doing. He's gotten his ass beat for this and obviously years after school, still hasn't learned. She had to get a PPO in 10th grade. Personal order of protection, that's what that means. I had to look it up. Uh, he started trying to go to the church group she went to. He would follow all my friends to my house, then he would just randomly see him slow walking or just standing in the parking lot watching. He also has a temper, or at least did, so I wouldn't put it past him to try to do something if he caught alone. Correction, I was in 11th grade. It was like before I left school. I was alone. One day, he rarely came up to me to the high school and talked to me, and that was my final straw. Again, she's showing DMs from that Sky account. She's showing the answer that Sky account. He mess basically he messages every single female and tries this. Carter says, I know Thomas because he does this thing on Twitter. Now, this is how you know it's the same person because they're talking about Thomas, right? She's like, Hey, I know that's Thomas. He does this thing on Twitter where he gives away money for retweeting and shit. He has 7k followers, and that's why it makes sense why he has a cash app with some money in it. And then she was just been warned that he has followers coming from mentioned Twitter account coming to report this post. Please do not let this get lost. Something needs to be done about drop costs. I shared it. So my friends reshared it. And look, let's see. Look, whose Twitter account is this? Whose Twitter account is this? At drop costs. It doesn't look like they're talking about me being a pedophile. It doesn't look like they're talking about Castiel. I don't see an unjust on there. Castiel. I don't see a Josh. I see a Thomas. And I see this account link that says Jack Goss with Carter in the comments confirming that's him. This is July 4th, people. This is a long time ago. This was literally last week. That's his account. That's his name's Thomas. They're talking about him. And look, he commented on her post. Saying, this isn't me. Okay, oh, shit. And look, look, if it's not him, right? It's not him, he has nothing to do with it, but yet, he's telling people on Twitter to report this post because he didn't want people finding out the truth that this dude's a fucking pedophile, that he's a fucking sexual predator. And like Crystal says in the original post, right? In the original post, right? Let's go back to the original post because you guys might have gotten lost. It's been 18 minutes. In the original post, she DMs this guy person messages saying, hey, do you know my friend? Hey, do you know my friend? Who might that be? Thomas. He he messages him. He messages this fake account, the message of female, to plug himself in the conversation. So this dude says, "Oh yeah, this that's not me." And then he tells people to report the account. Come on now. Okay, let's get back to where we were. Like, he's trying to pay people to report the account. It really shows you have zero friends and no one sticks up for you. If he was so sure it wasn't him, why would he do pull this shit on Twitter and wouldn't come and t explain it? And look, he blocked, he blocked Elizabeth on Twitter and he blocked Crystal. So they post this backup. And look, Rain, every, now look, every time he gets caught, he says the same thing in high school. He even tried to bring his parents into it. 
correct them, but they did not care. Literally lost cause. So they're reporting his Twitter account because they know, and they're getting their coworkers, they're getting their friends and their family to report this guy's Twitter because they know who he is. And like, like he's trying to get the post take bow. But like, nah, well, she's standing up for herself. Look, she's like, this gets taken down. The fact that he's responding by trying to pay people to get it taken down, not taking it up as a wake up call to stop and being a fucking creep is beyond me. See all these people come forward with shit to say about you? Wake the fuck up. Like, another female says, he's so fucking weird. He used to message me shit constantly. And now look at this one from Addison. This is some really damning shit. All right. He was obsessed with me. When I was 12 slash 13, he was 19, 20. So, so she was a minor. He brought six for me. He brought cigarettes for for minors. And he always, I always had to hug him to get them. He talked to me about my friend, same age I was. So he was talking to a 12, 13 year old about another 12 or 13 year old and constantly called her cute and hot and stuff. I have some screenshots of one account, but it's not super incriminating aside from the time he asked to meet up at 1.30 a.m. He wouldn't text anything too bad because he knew how young I was. But I know for a fact, if I had played along, he would have done some fucked up shit. Now, he is 19.20. So why is he texting a 12 or 13 year old for one? And two, he tells, look at the DMs, look at the messages, right? He's like, you should sneak out with me at like 1.30. No, I don't feel like talking. Oh, I don't feel like talking. I just don't feel like texting. The Snapchat, he tells her to Snapchat her. But he, he's 19 to 20 years old. And he's telling a 12 and 13 year old to sneak out with him at 1 o'clock in the morning. And yet you, get, you guys think I'm the pedo? Okay. Smart people. This is, I mean... The ones who supported and defended Jack Cause, man, you guys are gonna be looking really fucking stupid right now. And look, this is more Drop Cause. Hey, can I ask you a question? Do you like me as a brother? Uh, yes. And she's like, do you want me to be honest? She's like, yeah. She's like, not even in the slightest. I brought six from you a few times. I stayed around to talk to you. And once you and you started calling me your sister, I didn't want anything more than that to get six. But I had to play along because you were my only option. It's fucking weird, man. And then she's like, okay, thanks. And she put her friend feels the same. Then he put, I don't care what she feels. By the way, let me cross-reference Twitter, by the way. This picture is him. He's messaging Nicole. I know you all know this, Nicole. Nicole has no reason to lie. Um, let's see. Now, this person, Aaron, right? EMC? He used to call her his sister all the time, too. And then he sent her nudes and shit and harassed her. Right, back to the Facebook post. Now pay attention to this conversation. She was 13, 12, and he's tw 19, 20, and he's trying to guilt trip a fucking 12, 13-year-old girl as a grown man. He's trying to guilt trip her into feeling bad that she doesn't, that she doesn't like him in the same way that he likes her. Look at him putting the dots and the nothing, never mind. Like, she was like, 
Hey, I don't fall for guilt trips. I tried to help you, but whatever. Don't try to guilt trip me again. It won't work. Good shit, though. Good shit for being 12 and uh, realizing the game that he's running. Uh, see, like, that's fucked up. You had told me those things back when we hung out. I would have heard him. Keep in mind, I was 12, 13, and I didn't realize how weird this was. I also wanted six. Look, again, he's asking to walk around with a 12, 13 year old. He's like, hey, he's he's gray, she's blue. All right, walk around the park. All right, you're in the group. I might have to wait till two so my dad doesn't get mad. Damn, why till two? Because that's the time people get out of school. You should ask. My dad wouldn't be happy if he found out I was hanging out with a 19 year old. He won't know. All right, true. Like, like he's legit grooming and. Legit grooming a fucking 12, 13 year old at 19, 20. And y'all y'all defending this man? Look at it. She's like, I felt bad for him. I thought he was lonely. He was lonely and he deserved to be mad. I'm mad that happened under my nose. I didn't realize he was doing that because I would be the fuck out of that kid. I'm sorry he did that to you. He seriously needs some shock therapy. Like here's Crystal it says, I met him at the age of 12 in seventh grade and only added and talked to him thinking he was lonely too. I felt bad for him, and this is how he turned out. And this is the same shit he does on Twitter. A lot of people, like he was sitting there saying he was depressed and sad, and people would DM him, females would DM him to talk to him, and then he would immediately turn the conversation to something perverted and sexual instantly, and then use. The, uh, he'll say like, as soon as you try to call him out, and he'll be like, oh, I'm suicidal, I'm gonna kill myself, or da 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 da. But yeah, so dude is a fucking predator. And look, she's like, she found some messages from his ex-girlfriend. The girl talking about the time was the same age I was, 12, 13. So he was 12, 13 dating. Well, she, he, the girl in question was 12 and 13 and he was 19, 20 and he was dating a 12, 13 year old. She's like, yeah, I feel like shit for asking this, but how much do you think Thomas actually cares about me? A lot. Constantly talking about you, really, yeah. He's like, okay, this is the girl. She's like, when we just hung out with Blink today, he was talking about how awesome it was and how some of the stuff that happens, he's so happy. I feel like I never made him happy. Just have much more talk and hanging with you. Think that's with me. Hated the vent. No, it's fine. Dude was literally grooming and dating kids as a grown man. Hey, y'all fuck with this dude. So, like, they even they even see his Twitter. Like, he's, he's saying that, uh, you know, it's false accusations on Twitter. But they're like, but he can't explain to me why the fuck his name is mentioned. I literally blocked every account he has. He sends me a free request in January, so I knew it was fucking hell. He privated his account. You know, like, I like all these retweets about him not being a scammer, bitch. I never say he scam people. I say he's a fucking creep. And look, uh, this is... Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is from another 12-year-old at the time. Name Emma. Emma says, Thomas is a complete creep. He man manipulates and lies to get his way. When he doesn't, he threatens to kill himself. He has sent me pictures of him legitimately cutting himself, told me multiple times he's going to kill himself. He wants the attention. I can say so much about him because I knew him for years. I was 12 years old and he had to be at least 20. He tried to sleep with me numerous times. When he didn't, he tried to get me to get his brother who was closer to my age. He will use his brother as a cover when he does something he shouldn't. He has a problem. He has sent me so many pictures and videos of him jerking himself off. He fully knew I was underage. He did not care. He will constantly ask you if you consider him your brother. He uses this to manipulate you. This is sick. I hope this gets around and girls realize he is a pedophile. It's only a matter of time before he takes it too far with someone. So yeah, this girl was 12. He was 20. He tried multiple times to have sex with her. And then she said no. I'm glad she stood her ground. But then... She, he constantly sent her he constantly sent her porn of himself 
And this is the guy you guys are defending. You guys are fucking defending this person. Trout cause. The one who's saying that I'm a pedophile. By using a fake ass uh, snapshot screenshot he created. Like you don't see. Like it's just insane. Look, he definitely has a thing for 12 year olds. I could have been more than older than 13. He has a thing for young girls. Something needs to be done before he hurts someone. Poor young girls manipulate. He does this all the time so people will feel bad about him. Then he gets bored and turns his phone back on. This profile messaged me saying they were trans and then had a, a penis. And this one of me sent a video of me over my tits for money. Like he messages all these females. I'm genuinely creeped out that it was him because he used to try to get with me in middle school. I don't know how old he is now, but I know he was a lot older. So yeah, when she was in middle school, probably 12, 13, he was 20. Dude was like a grown man hitting on fucking middle school kids. But this is this is him in 2013. He was like 20. And that girl's like 12. So GG. It's fucked up. Like, is that Sophie? Yeah. He's like, is that Sophie? Yeah, one of his exes ages ago. He ruined her so much when they were dating. And look. Crystal, again, being the voice of reason. The f for real, the fact that anyone thinks it's not him when the screenshots from a conversation with him alone was literally pressuring me to interact and acknowledge Thomas. He didn't hit me up to pay me like everyone else, but to swear up and down that I know Thomas, then went ghost when I asked what they wanted. And look, Kayden says, I haven't blocked on all social media, six different accounts for Facebook. This dude has multiple accounts, harassing multiple women, trying to fuck 12, 13 year olds, and this is the guy you guys defend. This is who y'all stand on Twitter. This is who you guys are backing. This is who Scott stuck his neck out for. A legitimate fucking pedophile. And this guy's a giveaway host. And people are collabing and working with him. Like, that's what Thomas does. He makes these accounts, tries to get news from people, and he tries to blackmail them. What sister would go around messaging girls for his brother? And look, another girl. This creepo kept messaging me saying, Oh, I'll give you money if you talk to my brother. Oh, look, another female. Uh, uh, this account messaged me claiming to be a co worker of mine and sent me a very explicit picture. Courtney says, he has always been a pedophile. My parents actually pressed charges on him while I was in elementary school. So, when she was in elementary school, he was probably in middle school. And look, this girl named Sky, this is Jonathan's cousin, Sky. Like, this is like, he made an account pretty much pretending to be her. He chose her name. This is his cousin. Look, holy fucking shit. This dude is my cousin and still hits on me. And now steals my first name. What the fuck? Dude, I had to delete him because he's creepy as fuck. I'm sorry to all come to contact with him. So the dude hits on 12 year olds. The dude hits on little kids. The dude hits on like his own fucking cousin. And this is the guy y'all want to defend on Twitter. Unbelievable. Another female. Look, this dude has straight up been trying to add me and message me since sixth grade. Wish I had the messages, but I can't find him. He's absolutely disgusting. Like, he, de he deactivated his profile. But look, most of these comments are all testing to how this dude's creepy. And he's not going to take responsibility. This is everything. This is it. But, yeah. So many females. So many little kids. Well, so many young, young girls. This dude has harassed and sexually manipulated. And this is who you guys are defending and... 
it's just unbelievable. This guy's like a legitimately fucking pedophile. Like he tried to have sex with little kids, 12, 13, while he's in his 20s, multiple times with different different females. And you notice it's always the same story. It's always oh, the, he tries to interact with them. He gets blocked. Their, his multiple accounts get blocked. So then he goes on the, the fake female account and then DMs him and tries to get an interaction via Thomas. Like same MO. He did the same shit on on Twitter as well. Multiple people on Twitter, multiple people on Facebook, it's on and on Snapchat. And this is the guy you guys want to defend. Thomas Settles, aka Drop Cause. I, I think this should be more than enough proof, more than enough nail in the coffin that this guy's a fucking predator. So, are you really gonna believe his word or mine? The guy, I, I've been called pedophile, pedo, whatever, for months, and that one shred of evidence here. As a fucking plethora, dozens of females, all with the same similar stories that all match up to what he's doing on Twitter. So, make that make that decision for yourself. But just know that uh, if you defended this guy and you took up for him, you you should probably feel like a dumbass. You should feel like shit. So, I'll leave it at that. Like I said, same thing as look. Like, she said she for. But yeah, he's been doing this shit forever. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching.